Hey guys, Beaky here with the Untitled Game Show, back once again with another episode of Let's Talk. And let's talk about Sony Interactive Entertainment. What is Sony Interactive Entertainment? Well, it's a new LLC that Sony has went ahead and formed from Sony Computer Entertainment and Sony Network Entertainment as well. This brings together PlayStation View, PlayStation Plus, Music, Video Unlimited, and all the services from Sony Network Entertainment into one house in the United States. So the PlayStation brand has finally officially has its headquarters in the US. What does this mean for us as gamers as Sony as a company? Well, I'll give you guys my personal view right here real quick, guys. Now, as we all know, Sony has been making a lot of sales when it comes to the PlayStation 4. They've been doing really well, especially here in the United States, but worldwide, they're doing very well as well, guys. And with that being said, I think this is due to their very much focus on bringing somebody from let's say, you know, outside of their normal Japanese headquarters to develop the PlayStation 4. Mark Cerny, he did a pretty good job, guys. You know, this guy is pretty badass. He was not from Japan, he came there, saw it, he was the guy who made the system, the hardware, the way it was, and he did a pretty good job from that standpoint. Now, if we look back at something from not too long ago, the PlayStation Vita had stuff like the Nair app, which was a very Japanese-focused application for connecting to other PlayStation Vitas that I personally didn't think that did as well as it could have done in the United States, because even here in the US, where you know you might be near a big city, you might not run into many freaking near users on the PlayStation Vita. And I think they should have focused their time mostly on the online features on the Vita, which they really didn't do. Even things like Netflix that you would have thought would come to the Vita just never came there, but it's definitely something that you see on the PlayStation 3 now and you see on something on the PlayStation 4. And I think, and just me hoping as well, with the actual Sony PlayStation brand being focused out of the United States now, they will be more willing to focus on their online infrastructure and giving us in this region, Europe and the rest of the world, the things that need to be done to keep us online when we're playing our games, give us a better service, better, you know, just connectivity and actually make apps that actually allow us to connect to each other if they do ever make a second handheld. Now, obviously this was not done for this reason. This was mostly done for a business reason. As we know, Sony as a corporation is a Japanese company and I'm sure when they have a lot of profit in the United States and they have to send that money over to Japan, the conversion to yen, they do lose a lot of money. So maybe turning the Sony Computer Entertainment and Sony Network Entertainment into an LLC in the United States does help with this in its own specific way and with taxes as well. I don't know that side of the business because I am not somebody who takes business classes or ever really taken that type of classes for that corporate level accounting. That's just not my thing. I have friends that do it and I would have to ask them if that's the reason they would go ahead and make this form of LLC to maybe avoid, you know, certain type of taxes or certain type of, you know, just get around the system as best as I can as a corporation to keep as much things profitable because as we all know, these video game companies want to make money as much as we all want to say, yay, guys, they're doing this. They're bringing PlayStation to America for the gamers. I'm sure that's not the main reason. They're probably trying to actually build a better and stronger brand by building everything from the PlayStation View, View Music Unlimited, the PlayStation Plus, the network services all under one roof. As we can see right here from a quote from Andrew Hauser, who is definitely a big guy up in Sony. He's a global chief executive. He had this to say about Sony Interactive Entertainment. Sony Interactive Entertainment will become an even stronger entity with a clear objective to further accelerate the growth of the PlayStation brand. By integrating the strengths of PlayStation hardware, software, content, and network operations, along with our business partners, Sony Interactive Entertainment will develop pioneering services and products that will continue to inspire customers' imagination and lead the market. So Sony is definitely looking to, you know, 
make our imagination be bigger by using like stuff like PlayStation VR, which will be housed underneath this new Sony Interactive Entertainment as well, as long as well lead the market so they can make more money. Because guys, the success of the PlayStation 4 as it is right now is good, but they're gonna need to go ahead and put out some, you know, first party major titles in 2016, 2017, and 2018 to keep the success up and up to like, you know, 2019, 2018, whenever the PlayStation 5 might come out or whenever they decide to do their next type of handheld, either this is gonna be a handheld on its own or it's gonna be hybrid with a cell phone. Whatever they're gonna need to do, they wanna keep this pace going forward and we could be 100% sure soon to come stuff like the PlayStation now will be integrated directly into Sony Bravia TVs even easier and even simpler. Like I can't wait for the future to come when all these ecosystems actually link together in the Sony branding more simpler and more easy and hopefully this is for that future. And of course, like I said earlier in my discussion, I really want the network services part of Sony like how it's working in the United States now as our main headquarters to get better, man. Man, I want this shit. Just stay online. Don't give me any issues. You know, come on, Sony. If you're going to be updating the PS4 every freaking other month, let it do something. Let it do something. This has been Beaky here with the Untitled Game Show. Like I said earlier in the video, I know this is going to be mostly from a business standpoint, but I just wanted to say what it possibly could mean for us as gamers in the long run because we do have to look down the line to see the bigger picture. It is a company and they're going to try to make money. And along with that making money, it could mean better stuff for us as gamers as well. Let me know what your opinions are in the comment section below.